thing in any camp is effort. Can you give maximum effort when you're matched against people who are parallel to you? Well, about 2003, um, decided to try a uh, West Coast version of an All-American Camp concept. So I decided uh, creating something in California that would be national in scale, but also West Coast in convenience. Yeah, I definitely think it's, uh, it's, it's great to be here again and great to see the young talent developing. And um, I think Dinos, obviously, as a person, is, is a great guy. He's um, He knows the grassroots game. He knows the basketball game. If you look at it, I mean, it's talent after talent, high-ranked talent guys coming out. Dinos has been doing a great job with that. And like I said, he does it every year. So Dinos has been doing this for over 30 years. He has over 25 events. We're not like the Jordan Brand Classic. We're not like EYBL. We get kids from every shoe circuit, which is a great way for them to showcase themselves. It's a great litmus test for these guys from coming from around the country. Uh, Dino is a guy who's super passionate, who runs Pango. Like, you have to have passion behind any movement. And uh, he's been the voice, the energy behind it. For me, it's so fulfilling to be part of this that um, you know when you see the next generation of guys coming up. Everybody's here for a reason. Like there's nothing in basketball that I haven't seen, done, or heard, or been part of. Don't even worry about anything else. You just play hard, play with effort and everything's all gonna take care. And if you play hard, they'll be like, that's the dude. Uh, my job is to be a messenger. Being here, you know, is just the ultimate give back. The information is what I was always had access to. So when you have access to information, you have to decipher and see how good you're gonna be. Another thing that's really unique about Pangos is that we kick off the summer recruiting period. We have over 120 media outlets here, so that's scouts, that's videographers, photographers. And the cool thing is, to be honest, a lot of these guys aren't ranked. You know, they might be rising sophomores, rising juniors, where there's maybe only 50 or 60 guys ranked. So if you show up, you're already amongst like the best players in the nation and you get a lot of credit for just being here and being invited. It's really prestigious. Um, you know, my first time in Pangos, you know, I was a um, freshman. I was a young guy coming out, it was about 2010. When I was here, it was more of more of West Coast guys, but you know, you look at it now, everybody, you know, East Coast, West Coast, all the best talent is coming here. When I played, I was just trying to be the hardest working guy. If it's in the pickup games, if it's in the drills, you do that, uh, things will work out for you. Run that back, turbo. Run that back, turbo. Speed it up. Hold on, hold on. Speed it up. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Speed it up. It's, it's great. It's a great experience. It feels kind of weird because when I went last time, I was the youngest one. Now I'm one of the older ones, the upper class. So I kind of feel weird. That year was lit. It had, I think, last year's draft class. I think all of them was there. I like. I played against K, Scotty, Zion. Played against T. Clark. I, I probably played against everybody in the whole top 20 of that class. It was a good experience for me because I was young. So I'm like, yeah, I gotta get with it. It was kind of like shocking just because I just finished a tournament from Louisville and I had come back like later that week. So when they were saying like in a few days you got invited to a Pangos to head over there. So I was like, all right, it's a great opportunity for me to, you know, just go out there and do what I do. It's honestly what we work for, you know. This whole time been in the gym getting shots up, getting stronger. It's all for this opportunity. So I'm kind of just enjoying it. Uh, you know, it's very awesome. You know, it's been a dream of mine. You know, this is most definitely on one of my lists, one of my bucket lists growing up. So it's very, it's very cool to be here and be in this vicinity with a lot of other good players. It was one of the best experiences I ever had camp-wise, and coming back is just like a blessing. I'm playing against the best competition in front of like the best like forms of exposure, a lot of cameras, a lot of NBA scouts, and it just forces me to be the best version of myself. You're already amongst like the best players in the nation, and you get a lot of credit for just being here and being invited. It's really prestigious, and if you're in front of the right people like you are here, then you know, you get ranked and you get a lot of opportunities because they're watching on Baller TV. You know, to watch you play to increase college scholarships and like we are at this level today, help people get to the NBA. Well, I think part of it too is, is uh, the relationships that have been developed 
over all those years. It's a kind of a amazing to me that, uh, how it went so fast. You know, the first 10 years went fast. And looking back 10 years more, I think it's improved. I think the camp has gained a lot of credibility. Having the NBA certify us as the only non-shoe company, non-NBA player affiliated event based upon our track record. It's about making the most of your opportunities.